Hello everybody, uh, welcome to going over the Jackets account stuff now you can, you can see this is a little bit different than what I usually do for my setup with recording. You actually get to see OBS. Uh, but one thing uh, I wanted to go over and uh, cut the clip a little bit right there because I just showed some detail. Number one, I don't know personally, uh, offhand top of my head, if having your uh, user slash number or well, user number one two three four is something that you have to keep a hundred percent you know private or not i i really don't know uh so for the sake of this video i am going to keep that completely private so you're not going to see me scroll up so one thing uh to kind of keep in mind when you go to make your jackets account all you have to do is you will when you first go to do this you'll first go to log in and then you go to set up your jackets account um because obviously if you don't have one you don't have one so you have to set that up so you're going to want to use your preferred email that you want to actually have tied to this first and once you have it set up you can change it yes you can change uh your user such as user uh number one one well one two three four you know because mine has four digits with my user so uh i don't know if everybody's going to have four digits or if it's going to incrementally get bigger and bigger I, I i have no idea um but once you have the easy part set up you know setting up the account uh here's the next steps actually and because the authenticator app isn't necessarily automatically enabled when you go to set this up uh, it'll have the security codes via email uh which personally i found kind of annoying uh better off actually uh, enabling the authenticator right away because this way whenever you go back and forth to add more and more characters uh it just makes it a little easier uh, you do have backup codes, which is an added layer of security, just in case something happens. Uh, do keep these backup codes somewhere else, this way you can enter them if you lose your authenticator for whatever various reason. You, Well, then you have it available to you. Make sure your password's a good one. Um, make sure your email is also a secured one. I know my email not only has the authenticator, it has... I uh, strong password. Um, one of those kind of passwords where I'm probably going to update it yet again here eventually. But it has a good password. And then the account has a good password. Both are all authenticator protected. Uh, does it make it foolproof? Absolutely not. But it does help keep it as secure as possible. Uh, but that being said, so, you know, just set up your Jackets account like you would any other account. Now, when it gets to be more interesting is whenever you want to access your Jagex account, uh, first you will go to account, you'll log in, you'll use that email, and then it'll ask you which character you want to log into your account with. Uh, it'll bring you to a certain page, the page that we're all familiar with, where it shows like, you know, your messages, your account details, etc., etc., um, that's why I'm not showing that part for this section because it's a little bit more personal detail. Um, but at the very top, when you first log in, it'll say Access Jackets Account. So you'll click on that, and that will bring you to this page that I'm currently on. Uh, the only thing you're missing with this current page is my user number 1234. That's what you're missing right now. Uh, but also, you're also missing the email and the start out version of the password. Again, that's all information I would personally want to keep private. That's why I'm not showing it here. Uh, but this is essentially all it is in the beginning. Uh, you know, of course, enable your authenticator. It's very helpful. Um, this way also you don't need to use your codes via email. This way also too, you're not logging in and out constantly and getting a ton of emails this way. Uh, the characters, that's the next section we'll get into after I clear up this page. Your preferred language is actually going to be here. You can save all these changes that you have. Uh, you can actually export personal data that you have provided while using your Jagus account. Uh, so you can have a, it'll be a computer readable file, of course. 
that will be generated containing the personal data held on your account. So you can see at any point in time what information is, you know, held with them. And if you accidentally lose a, a device that has your Jenkins accounts signed into and logged into, you can end all sessions right here through your Jackets account. So let's say for whatever reason, you lose your phone, um, this will help you log out of it on your phone. And then if whoever finds it is able to actually get into it and access it and try to play your account, uh, it'll already be logged out and they would have to go through the <coughs> joys of trying to get into it. Uh, but so that being aside, that, that is a nice safety feature. Now we'll get into the character section. So once you have all this figured and you want to start adding your characters, you click on characters, which will bring you to the next section. Uh, and that is obviously characters. Now, the, again, the only thing you're missing above uh, where I'm currently at, because I am scrolled down a little bit, is the user number uh, 1234. So obviously that's not my username, it's not my number, but uh, that is what that is. Now, from here, you can create new characters, you can import existing characters, and you can manage your characters. And then you can also download the launcher. Now, as you can see here, I have quite a few characters. There is, um, I think, at least one more character, and it does say one character ready to import. Um, but I think it's my old Iron Man old hardcore account, and I don't want to get back into that one. Uh, so I'm not going to. Because uh, it was before I started the channel. So, that being said, uh, creating a new account. Obviously, we all know what creating a new account is like. It's not any or anything that is it ordinary. You log in, you create your account, etc., etc. Uh, importing existing account. Now, this I'm going to go over because, again, I don't want to give out all this personal information because this involves uh, you knowing... If it is, if you're an older player and you have a user um, instead of an email login, you do that, have your password, and then you go boom, boom, you import that character. I uh, think you have to double check for an email on that account. So you check that email and then bam, bam, done. Next. You want to go to your next character, so you're going to have to have that email, the password for it again, and then bump, bump, log, we'll sign into it. Well, you import it, and then you're good to go. Now, if you have an authenticator on each one of your accounts like I did, you will have to enter your authenticator in order to import them. So it's something to kind of keep in mind. Now, after you're done, uh, importing your characters again I want to iterate that when you go to import a character you have to have either the if you're an old account the user if it's not an old account the email so you'll have user slash email you'll enter that in enter in your password click sign in and then you will potentially have to use your authenticator if you have it already activated which I recommend and then your character will get imported. I can't remember if there is an email involved, but even still, it's just a confirmation email saying, yes, this is what's going on. So if that is the case, you know, do check that out. It's a, it's really as simple as that. Uh, now, if you forgot your email uh, linked to these other accounts that you're trying to log into, might cause some complications, but again, I can't 100% remember. Now, the nice thing about this part is, obviously, you see here, this account is linked to Steam. It shows you that it's connected to Steam, so you know what's going on there. Now, when you're in this section, you can click on any of these, and it'll bring you back to the page that we are all used to for so many years. Uh, where it just goes into the plain, you know, RuneScape background and it has all the yellow bars to click on for your messages, etc, etc. Uh, and that's how this is. That's as simple as it gets. Now, once you have all this... So, again, a little bit of editing. Hiding my user 
number plus user number one, two, three, four. I'm hiding that again, just in case it is something that is secured. I don't personally know, uh, but um, once you have it all done, we are on the launcher now. And I'll even shrink this down a little bit so you can see here. Uh, just ignore OBS. <laughs> uh, but you will have the Jackets Launcher. The Jackets Launcher is readily available here. Uh, once you have all your characters in, yes, you can click to manage here. Uh, it'll bring it pop up and go into it again. Uh, but uh, from here, you also have all this. You can select it and you can switch between your characters as easy as that. Uh, if you want to, you can even switch into this. Uh, you can go to the official client or the Runelight client. So that for those who are still unsure about that, uh, then again, you can click on this and go into here and go whichever character you want to go into. Now, I know a long time ago, some people have asked, well, can you play two accounts at the same time? And the answer is yes, you still can do that. Uh, so you just click on play. Of course. Okay, so now that I fixed that little issue, uh, so yes, you can play multiple accounts at the same time. And let me show you how. Uh, so, as you can see, logging into Hibidraj. Uh Let's log into one of my other accounts. All I gotta do, go to that account, hit play, and bam. Now that account is loading as well, and bam. So now you, <laughs> now you can see how that is, basically. You just go to the one and then go to the next. Now, one thing I know a lot of people were kind of wondering is, can you do this? And I answer is, I don't know. So we're going to try it. <laughs> uh, I know a lot of people have been wondering that for a long time, and I have not tried it with the Jagged's launcher. And let's see how this goes, because technically I am logged into one. Uh, we just got to load the configuration. Well, I'll skip into it here. Uh, music. Since it's not taking a while to load. Ooh, that was loud music. Be prepared for that if you have not logged into OSRS. Uh, especially every time recently. So, what I'm going to do here, we're going to log into this one. And then after that account, since it's in the background here, I'm going to let that log in. Um... We're going to go to 489 and click on that. Because, yes, I am very curious to see if you can log into the same account, essentially, at the same time. Now, whether or not this is actually allowed uh, via the system yet, I don't know. Okay, so it's still logged in. So, yeah, you still can't play the same account in both versions you have to play in one version or the other uh unfortunately but honestly it makes sense i guess because it's still technically gathering the same data from the same thing uh but i hope this helps some people understand what you know like how to set this up what's all going on it's not bad yes it does seem like it makes your account or your accounts a little bit more vulnerable um, but, you know, if you don't feel safe doing it yet, I understand, uh, but this way you at least get an idea as to what to expect. It's, it's very easy. You just got to set up the Jackets account and once you set it up, like I, you know, had said about, just go ahead, add your, your accounts that you want to have added. If you only want to add one or two for now, just to see how things go. Uh, go ahead and do that. I will say the only other thing about this is it does remove the individual authenticators. And this, if you have your bank pin as your authenticator, it will also remove that. Uh, so you will have to reestablish your bank pin uh, if you so choose to do so. So just some things to kind of keep in mind. Uh, but 
that'll do it for this video if you guys have any questions please feel free to ask i'll try to uh either get an answer to them and if i can't get an answer to your questions i will you know obviously you just apologize because i wasn't able to get the answer to your questions uh but hopefully this answers some people's questions and helps people understand a little bit more what's all involved because uh, it's not that bad but thank you guys so much for watching and until next time later guys